Hello, 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 hello. I just woke up, took a shower, and I'm still in my favorite bathroom. It's the one that I bought in Thailand and often wore there. Today's problem is with a pendulum. It's not the kind of motion that all of you are so very familiar with. That the pendulum just swings back and forth like this. Now we're going to make the bulb going around in a circle. I have here my homemade pendulum. From the point where I hold it to the center of my mass here, admittedly my mass doesn't have zero size, but the distance from where I'm holding it to the center of my mass is very close to 50 centimeters. So we will use for our calculations, we'll just assume that in our imaginary calculation where this object has no size, is a point, we will assume 50 centimeters. Okay, so this is the motion that I want to study with you. You see, it's rotating. The mass is rotating. Okay, we'll now be precise about the problem. So here you see that pendulum. We will assume that the length of this string is exactly 50 centimeters. That means from the point of suspension to the mass m. And we assume that m has no size. I weight the string with only 2 grams. So the mass of the string you can ignore. I also weight the mass of the ball very close to 300 grams. And my question to you now is, if we make this angle 35 degrees, what is the period of the bob to go around? And we want the answer in seconds, and I want three-digit precision. So, If you know how to make the calculation for 35 degrees, of course you would also be able to give an answer for other degrees. But that's a separate issue now. I will discuss that when I do the solutions. But what I want to do now is something I have never done before. I am going to swing this around at an angle which I will eyeball. Of course, I cannot go 35 degrees. I'll be lucky if I am within 5 degrees of 35, but I will try. I will make 10 oscillations, go 10 times around, and I want you to get a timer. Right now, you should stop this video and you get a timer, which is accurate to at least a tenth of a second. Stopwatch would be great, but you can also use a timer online. I'm going to rotate 10 oscillations, and you should measure the time of the 10 oscillations. 10 rotations. So, turn the video off, Get your stopwatch or whatever timer you want to use and then turn it back on again. All right. I will assume that you're all now ready with your timer. I'm starting. I increase alpha. When I start I will yell now and then when I reach 10, you know that it's 10 oscillations. Okay.
So I'm just eyeballing, that's all I can do, that's the best I can do. Okay, are you ready now? Now! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I will do it again. Why I will do it again? Well, I want you to notice, of course, that if I try it again, that my answer will be somewhat different. Because I cannot hold the angle constant for one thing. And the average angle in my second demo may be a little larger or smaller than the first demo. So that gives you a feeling for when, I, when you do the experiment at home, if you did, and you make yourself a pendulum, that clearly there will be a range of values that you will get. But why do I want you to measure it? And before I measure it for the set, before I do the demo a second time, I will tell you. Surely, the period that you will measure with your stopwatch or your timer today will not be identical to the one you calculated. But if the one you calculated is way different, and way different would be 30%, would be way different, then your calculation is wrong. So, if you're ready, we're going to measure it. You are going to measure it again. Oop. Again, I will start when I say now. I have to first build up alpha. I'm close to saying now. Now! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What I'm going to do, I'm going to watch this video and I'm going to measure the period using my video. And I promise you, I will not change this. I will not redo this video. So I hope that I also will be close. Mm, close would be in my book. It's you was in 10%. That would be close. 30% yeah. off, then you did something wrong here. So I'm turning all of you into experimental physicists and I hope you like that. And you can experiment of course at home with pendulums that you build with different lengths and you can try to do it with different angles. I will help you a little bit, maybe I shouldn't. But I will discuss that when I do the solutions. In your answer, substitute in your answer alpha is zero and substitute in your alpha in your angle in your answer alpha is 90 degrees. Then the period should be predictable. So that's another way you can perhaps check whether your answer is correct. I shouldn't have helped you this much. But since I want to be friends with you. I thought I would be very kind today. Okay? Have a nice day and take care. And of course I hope that you too want to be friends with me. But that comes without saying.